The New Zealand government has adopted a fairly ambitious target for energy. Uh, I think that it's going to take a commitment by every New Zealander to achieve that target. Well, New Zealand has been described as the Saudi Arabia of wind uh, as a result of the wind conditions that we have here on land. We see wind uh, and renewable energy is an important part of not only the mix for New Zealand's electricity generation, but also an important uh, factor in ensuring that countries around the world play their part when it comes to climate change. There were certain things we had to resolve to be able to take on the challenge of building this project. So with cooperation and a team effort, we were able to uh, use some initiatives so that we could build this place uh, efficiently and safely one of the most extreme sites that we've attempted in the world to date. Firstly getting them to site, being shipped all the way from Denmark with the major components and also the towers from Korea. So getting them moved around site, it's taken a lot of coordination and working together as a team with Meridian, getting them onto the right hard stand at the right time. The blades are coming from Denmark and they have been manufactured in a town in Denmark called Aalborg. The advantage of those plates are that they have been cast in one piece, not in two half parts that most of our competitors are doing. They are extremely strong and very well developed for a site like this one here. The 62 turbines are connected together via a data network, which in turn is connected back to Denmark to our 24-7 monitoring station. If there's any fault, the turbine can be stopped and any remedial works can be carried out to prevent any damage to turbine components. Right from day one it has been very open and frank dialogue around the challenges of the project and to put forward solutions and work collaboratively with the customer to actually bring this project through to fruition. What impressed us about Siemens was a number of things. They fundamentally understand their product. They actually understand what they're trying to do with their turbine and what they're actually trying to achieve. They appreciated the complexity and and the wind resource at the site um, and being able to, to speak to them and work with them very closely both on the analysis um, and the layout. We ended up with a, an optimum solution for that site. Another exciting thing about working on this project at West Wind is also the different team members coming from different countries, from Denmark, from New Zealand, from various other countries, all working together as a team. So to be able to draw on that uh, expertise uh, from all parts of the globe uh, and bring it into New Zealand as and when required uh, is a real strength that Siemens has. The Prime Minister opened the first string and we were up there with Rene Omloff, the, the Head of Renewables for Siemens, uh, Albert Goller, the uh, Chairman and CEO of the Pacific Cluster. And when the Prime Minister flicked the switch to turn on the turbines, uh, it was a very proud moment. West Wind is, is really quite special. You know, we believe it's going to be a hugely iconic project for New Zealand. It's something that we're incredibly proud of.